now we'll learn more about opportunities of patent and know-how exchange. Because if you are cooperating on an international level, then of course, if you're working with technology, it is very important also to focus on the issue on patent rights, on know-how exchange, because transfer is knowledge. Knowledge is an important factor for the monetization of um, of business models and concepts. And therefore, I'm very thankful that uh, Dr. Titman Otto is focusing on this aspect because um, if you focus or if you're working with this approach and uh, with the background knowledge, your life will probably will be very much easier. So the microphone is yours. Yes. So thank you very much for the perfect introduction. I couldn't have done it better. So I promise uh, to hurry to not stand uh, between you and your lunch break. So I would like to start just right away. Um, so today I am uh, talking to you on behalf of the partners of the High Performance Center, the so-called Leistungszentrum smart production and materials. And as you can see, this is a cooperation of six research institutes in Saxony in the eastern part of Germany. And we combine the competencies in the development of materials, of processes, of uh, uh, development of tools and production optimization. And our mission is to increase the visibility of the innovations that exist at our partner institutions and therefore enhance the chance to a successful innovation transfer into application scenarios. So we collaborate with other research institutions, but also companies of various sizes, as well as startups. Sometimes we even found new companies on our own if there's a market need, but there's no supplier of, uh, of a suitable solution yet. Um, we regard the High Performance Center as our central contact point where there is a problem to solve and try to summarize and guide the companies uh, towards a potential solution scenario. And um, we take a, a wide variety um, of, uh, um, of topics from production machinery topics to additive manufacturing, to software solutions, to sustainable energy systems. And uh, as the letter uh, fits best to today's meeting, we work, for example, on harmonized mixes of energy resources to ensure a proper production conditions by low up to no emission. So, and you can see here one of our research examples, which is the so-called Forschungsfabrik, uh, which means research factory. And here we work on topics like a DC-based factory. So in this particular topic, we try to leave out various steps of current transformation, which are usually, usually needed to transport electricity from the generating energy plant to the region, then to the factory, and then within the factory to the machinery and to use it within the machinery. And so first results here show that the potential of reduction of energy loss due to this transformation uh, can be up to 15%. And I'm really not the expert here in this field, but you can find and contact my colleague, Mark Richter, via the QR code, which is given on the uh, top right corner. And he is our head of uh, the business unit climate neutral factory operation, and he is happy uh, if you uh, contact him to talk about those topics in more detail. So if you are interested in that, feel free to contact him. And there's also a blog uh, of our institute called the Factory of the Future. And I will post the link to uh, this blog uh, into the chat right, uh, right after my talk. Um, but that's just one example of what we do. And the, to me, more interesting part is how we support the transfer of the gained knowledge from the projects um, uh, from our research institutes uh, to you, the companies and the players within Europe. So we uh, trace eight different transfer paths that you can see here. Um, and we uh, try by this uh, approach to enable a tailor-made transfer that is uh, fitted to your specific needs. And therefore you, we use a versatile range of uh, transfer activities, for example, webinars, workshops, trainings, professional educations, and so on. And our mission is to, yeah, 
to strengthen the European industry. And therefore, we first need to save the IP, which is created within our research projects, and then enable you as applicants to use the new technology or the software to produce innovative products or to produce them faster or cheaper or more suitable for circular economy uh, approaches. And we do this by licensing the secured IP to you. And depending on the individual case, this can be done, for example, exclusively or non-exclusively. But the more important uh, important part here is the one before. So meaning the finding of the innovation and the innovator that helps solve your problem. And this might be done, for example, using the technology offer section within the EEN's platform and on the website. And here we place selected IP and technology that is meant to be licensed and which seeks a partnership uh, to further develop the topic. And so we as research institutes make sure to uh, provide interesting offers there at this platform and you make sure to have a look into the section from time to time so that we can partner up then. Additionally, we have also other ways to present uh, uh, available IP, which is, for example, to invite you to an IP exchange event. And the next session here of the so-called patent and know-how Börse in German, so which means exchange event, um, will be held on April 26th uh, next year in Chemnitz, Germany. And I warmly invite you to join us there. We start in the morning with a pre-event of the IP related legal topics, which is hosted by our local patent information center, and then continue with pitch presentations of selected patents. We also have our so-called know-how tables where you can start into de deep tech discussions uh, with the inventors themselves. And for all who cannot attend physically, we will provide the slides of the pitches in the aftermath. Unfortunately, right, right now we don't have the registration page for the event up and running since it's, it will be at the end of April. But uh, in case you are interested, feel free to contact us via uh, the email address given here uh, below. So info at lz-spm.de or to contact me personally over the EEN platform or LinkedIn or mail. And um, uh, a last part, uh, which I uh, briefly summarize it. Uh, so if you would get, uh, would like to get to know partners that already transferred IPs from our uh, institutions, for example, via a license or an IP purchase, this event here might be of interest to you. Um, at the end of February, the uh, License Centrum and together with the Fraunhofer Alliance for Production in the Automotive Sector, we invite you uh, to a virtual pitch and match session where 13 partners of our startup and spin-off ecosystem present their innovations in short impulse talks. And uh, a match uh, will ensure a virtual face-to-face -face meeting after the talks and the registration can be found uh, in the uh, QR code, which you see on the bottom. And so I would uh, be really happy to see some of you in this uh, event. And with that, I'd like to uh, thank you very much for your attention. And I'm open to questions, but I know we don't have time for questions. So send me an email. <laughs> thank you. Yes, somehow. And uh, so thank you very much for this fast trip through the approach of, of uh, EWU. In, in Chemnitz, um, uh, working on, on, on patents, um, intellectual property rights, and knowledge transfer between uh, startups, research results, and companies. Yes. So, um, yes. After, and, and ah, one, one thing came into my mind uh, that I hope that uh, you will also use uh, the, the green energy community platform um, also to maybe make a call for webinars and, and find people uh, or companies that are interested. So um, I'm inspired. I have some ideas. Uh, probably we will talk about this uh, in, in the aftermath uh, yeah. of this event. Um, so, but now thank you very much for the first point. For the second